Now, A-Class luxury doesn't always have to come with an A-Class price tag. In this Pilot Galaxy G740, I think I found a cracking example of an A-Class for an affordable price. So what's the deal? Let's get inside and have a look. Now, Pilot certainly has form in the A-Class market. One of its sister companies, Franker, knows a thing or two about building this kind of vehicle. And you could argue that some of this expertise is obviously fed into the Pilot product. It's extremely upmarket with some very considered design touches. Take this front lounge, for example, an extremely sociable seating group where five people can get around the table. And there's no need to be marooned on that side of the vehicle because you can just go push the table over to meet them that way. The people sitting in the cab probably get the best seats in the house because these two chairs are made by Agouti and they are super comfortable. Comfort, luxury and style are the order of the day and that's what you pay the money for. But in the case of this van, I don't really think that £63,000 on the road is necessarily a huge amount of money. You can pay much more for an A-Class, but this van I think is very well priced for what it is. There are no end of pleasing interior touches, including ambient lighting, nice furniture, good finishes on the cabinet work. We even have a manually operated drop-down bed up above, things like cruise control, air conditioning, and even a reversing camera. That seems like pretty good value for me. The rear bedroom features a transverse bed and you access it by these stairs in the corner. They basically just take you up very gently into the rear bedroom, onto the bed, onto that nice memory foam mattress where you're going to have a good night's sleep. I like the way they've done this by putting it at the side rather than in the middle. It's a very nice attention to detail on the design side. And also there's a nice wide shelf for your spectacles, books and any other things that you might want before turning in for the night. Now further burnishing this van's credentials for the kind of vehicle that people like to take on prolonged tours is the whopping amount of storage in the bedroom. We have a wardrobe, five drawers, three overhead lockers. Now another great thing about an A-Class motorhome is of course the double floor, which is a very common innovation in a vehicle of this class. Now the more super affluent motor caravaner can be able to use this for having their own wine cellar. I reckon you could get 40 bottles of vintage champagne in there. The rest of us, of course, we can just use it for our muddy wellies. Now the midship's washroom is split across the van, extremely opulent. On one side you have this shower compartment and on the other side you have a fully contained washroom that includes a vanity unit, sink and a swiveling loo. Another feature I really like is this sliding door that allows you to partition the washroom from the rear bedroom. And also, if you're the kind of person that likes to get dressed during the daytimes, but you haven't been bothered to put the cab blinds down, problem solved. You just open the bathroom door and push it to. The compact kitchen is nevertheless very usable and it can be serviced from the full fridge freezer configuration on the near side of the vehicle. One thing I particularly like about the kitchen, other than the extractor fan, the three gas rings and the round sink, is the provision of a very handy place to put your champagne flutes because let's not forget you've got your wine cellar already on board. Now there's somewhere for the staff to put their cleaning utensils for when they finish polishing the glasses but one thing that could be a real clincher for the UK buyer is the provision of this combination oven and grill which is not an atypical feature to a continental produced motorhome so it's fantastic to see one in here. Now understandably you may want to keep a motorhome like this all to yourself but in the event that you did ask anyone from the family or friends or anything to come along with you on tour, you can put them in this bed above a lounge. It's very easy to operate too. You just release this flap, pull down gently, down comes the bed and it even has an automatic pair of reading lights. How good is that? The Pilot Galaxy G740 will cost you just over £63,000 on the road. It's seven and a half metres long and three and a half thousand kilograms, so it can be driven by anybody on a normal driving licence. The one thing to bear in mind, of course, is that the habitation door is on the UK offside, but as always, if you tour a lot in Europe, that won't really matter. In mid-range sensation trim, this van is stuffed to the gunnels with really appealing kit. In fact, for the money, I think it's nothing short of sensational.